Hi, this is Melody Nye of Mellow Farms. Thanks for joining me for Sundays on Mellow Farms. Hey, you know, um, if you follow us on Facebook, you'll know that Opal had her piglets on Wednesday. And so I thought I'd revisit, obviously, a theme of mine, which is humane handling and humane raising of heritage pigs. And we'd go into the barn and see Opal and her piglets. And I figured I'd start the shot out here as I'm walking into the barn. We don't actually use the barn for very much, a little bit of storage. Um, but I really wanted you to see what the barn looks like. So come on with me. Um, this area on our right, in the winter, this is where um, the chickens, our egg-laying hens, come in and have shelter in the winter. Um, we've got a few bales of straw out here, and, and we've got a few, few tools. Oh, there's Hendrix, one of our barn cats. Um, and we've got some sheets of plastic up here to help corral um, heat in the winter and cool in the summer. Um, and this is our pig area. So we've got some, um, a door here. Let me go ahead and open it. And if you can see off in the distance there, there's Opal and her piglets. Hey, girls. Okay. So I do actually close the door after I come in because our girls do wander, and um, I really don't want them playing with the tools. <laughs> so here we are in the barn, and here's Opal, and Opal's four. Um, as I've spoken before, and you can look at some of my older videos, um, I have a, a huge case against uh, gestation crates. I feel like there's a better way, and there has been a better way for a number of years. I feel that gestation crates are really just a vehicle of um, production farming. Um, kind of, if you take the humanity away from a pig and basically treat it like cord, cord wood, you can figure out how to stack as many pigs in as small a space as possible, and that's what gestation crates help um, producers do. We don't do that. So we've got what we call sow sweets, and uh, we realize that uh, mama pigs are kind of large, um, and so we want to give them something soft and comfortable, just like outside, to lay in. So we bring in straw, and... Um, what you're seeing here is three of the four piglets wandering about, um, either, you know, vocalizing to mom or each other, um, but very safe here in their area. Oh, there's number four. <laughs> um, you know, exercising their own legs, being able to roam, uh, roam around. Um, this next week, what we'll do is... Um, you can see out here is the outside of our barn, and we've got a field that's specific for our sows and um, their offspring. Uh, oh. And it's lush, and it's green, and we'll take this uh, cattle panel that you see right here, and we'll open it up, and um, mom will bring the little ones out here, and they'll start to forage. The little ones will eat the um, leaves that are uh, down a little bit farther on this lamb's quarters, and um, mom will make a nest. So this is... This is how we've set up our barn. It's really just a uh, shelter uh, so that we have uh, an area where moms can come in and have their piglets. Um, I don't know if uh, all of you are in Michigan, but last week we had a little cold snap. Um, and so um, with the barn door open, I could put a piece of plywood here and keep it draft free. Um, I could have, I have my little heat lamp here. Uh, just in case anybody was really um, a little fragile, nobody was. Uh, now the little ones just find their way into here, and um, you know, when when mom's moving around, they just come in here. And who we're hearing in the background is Opal's sister Perla. Perla is due this week, 
And so it's kind of nice. Perla and Opal are sisters. Um, and Perla and Opal um, do a lot of vocalizing to each other, kind of like mom and new mom. Hey, hey, sweet pea. <laughs> I'm going to come inside so I can get a little closer to the piglets. Um, another thing that you'll see is I bring greens in um, for the first three days while mom's in with the piglets. Um, we, we'll just call it breakfast in bed. Um, it's you know, nice to be able to get greens and the dirt that, that's with them because it's another thing that we do a little bit differently since we're pasture-based. Uh, one of the... Um, rules, so to speak, of raising piglets is when they're born, they're supposed to get iron shots. We don't give our piglets iron shots. Um, we found that they're very, very healthy. They get soil, which has plenty of minerals. And <laughs> you see these four back here. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer. And mom is fine. We don't have the issues of um, snarling, nasty uh, sows. Um, they were our friends before they gave birth. They're our friends afterwards. Um, you know, it's we just have a synergistic relationship that um, we rely on each other for, um, you know, safety for the girls and um, a, a healthy place. And I just got to show you, Opal is like a lot of our sows. Being a mom is like one of the best things in the world. And if you stick a sow in a gestation crate where she can't move around and she's really a vehicle to just have babies and feed them and she's not able to exercise, you have a terribly unhealthy situation. We don't have that. So, hey, sweet pea. Um, another thing about piglets, and, you, and this is what we're seeing here, is piglets... Yeah, you know, they're they're tiny. They have the best stranger danger of any animal I've ever uh, been around, and uh, they you know they don't want to be hurt. So they're always finding places if they're feeling a little uncomfortable uh, to go and and uh, hide and be safe. And so that's another thing that we provide here is um, plenty of room for them to be safe. So. I just, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I have very strong feelings about gestation crates. And, hi, see, I can just say that word, and you're like, no, we don't like those either. <laughs> um, I, you know, I understand why uh, large production facilities use them. Um, it, we utilize in a sow suite the same amount of space that you can put five gestation crates in. If somebody's just raising pigs for numbers, um, that's a huge, in, in their mind, a huge space waste. Uh, for us, it isn't. Um, it respects the humanity of the animal. So, off my soapbox, and this is one of the brothers. Um, We've got one girl in the bunch, and her name is Ruby, so it's Ruby and her three brothers. And uh, until we see you next week, uh, have a good one, and take care. If I say gestation crate, are you going <laughs> to turn around again? That was such a reaction last time, I couldn't have scripted that. No, we're just relaxed. Okay, signing out. Talk to you later. Bye.